everybody. I figured I'd do another video. Um, I just recently picked up a uh, snowmobile. It's a 1972 Rupp Yankee, uh, 25 horse. I believe it's got a 295cc collar. I don't really know exactly if it's a collar, but I I honestly don't know how many cc's. I mean, uh, what make it is. It's got a key in. Um. Like that, that's actually pretty neat how the whole thing slide, folds up like that. Slides all down like that, whatever. It's got a fan cooled. Um, yeah, I picked this up on Friday for a hundred bucks. The slide itself is in pretty good shape. Um, seat's alright. It's got a few parts. They got the tail light lens in there. It's a popped out. Um, track is actually pretty good. You can't really see it that well. It's missing suspension springs. I actually had to fix this set here. There was a bolt snapped off inside the shaft, so I had to drill out and retap it. Um, it's got 1,678 miles on it. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, the gas tank was really bad. That's the only bad spot. I mean, the only bad thing really about it, other than the belly pan, is a missing belly pan. Um, it's pretty rough. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. You know, it looks pretty bad, but you can't really see. But it's it's rust. It's all rust. So I'm gonna try to bring it to a place that does it for boats. I don't really do it, so I'll see what I can do. So my 292 stuff. I just redid all these wheels and everything. I let them sit outside and. A little bit of rust starting to happen again. I'm kind of disappointed. But, yeah, this thing's not too bad. 500 bucks, it runs. I got a, a toolbox with it. The guy was actually really nice. He just gave me a toolbox to go along with it. I put some of my stuff in it. Um, show my screwdrivers and so on. It's just a toolbox where you got my stuff in it. So, I need some of this stuff. Uh, what is this? Silicone move. Stuff works pretty good for starter fluid and it's not too bad for it either because it's lube, so I'm gonna uh, set this down. Let's move that out of the way so you can see. Chokes on. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Just run. Let's give it another shot. Let's see if we can get it going. We we'll keep it going. Almost. This camera doesn't want to stay put. See it? It's a lot smoky, but it runs. It's not too bad. Just pop this side. Yeah. These plastics are actually in really good shape. Uh, secondary there, and the clutch up in there. It's pretty tucked in, actually. I'm really surprised. Back then, they uh. Didn't make snowmobiles very well because, well, you can tell my 292 it's in pieces. And it's all rusted, but this must be like actually one of the more expensive, better ones because everything's aluminum and plastic. So there's not really much rust on it. Like, even the chrome is it's in really good shape for how old it is. It's missing this piece here. It cracked off, I guess, or whatever. And I don't know, the belly pan has a bit of a chunk 
going out of it. And this whole side here is missing. So, yeah, I don't know, it's not too bad, I guess. Seat's in pretty good shape for how old it is. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more update videos. i got to put this back in. It's kind of difficult, and i have to get new springs for some of the other ones underneath there because they're broken. If anybody knows where I could buy plastics for this, because I obviously need a few, <laughs> like a belly pan and whatever side that would be, would that be, uh, that would be the left side belly pan or piece here that goes there anyways. I need one of those. You know, maybe one of these uh, plastic things go up around here. That's alright, has a crack here and a little bit of cracking. It's not too bad. Same with this one, just a little tiny bit. It's still good though. I think it's missing the emblem that goes here though. You kind of see the outline of it. Not really, but whatever, it's there. Ski's still got a bit of chrome on them. Not very much left. So, anyways, well, I'll keep you guys posted and hopefully, uh, I'll get this one going pretty good for winter, and I'll get my dirt bike sold soon, hopefully. Because that thing's got to go. I'm tired of keeping her around. I like it, but I just I can't I can't have it here right now. Just not not enough room. And I don't really need it in the way. So, anyways, I'll keep you guys posted, and uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. All right, thanks. Bye.